Alright, welcome everyone to BCW here in Fort Pierce, Florida. Starting off with a Queen, Queen of the Ring tournament match. Princess Peach taking on Crystal Dallas. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Princess Peach. This superstar has a lot of confidence, a lot of pride, but there's also a lot of respect for their opposition tonight. Oh, I get it. Great mind games at work. No, Corey, just respect. Oh, so this superstar is just an idiot. Got it. She knows tonight is going to be a big challenge, but if anyone is up for it, it's this woman. Here we go, she is ready. Some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. A competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight. All right, and here we go with this match. And here's a woman on a mission. She has the singular goal of being the most dominant superstar in the women's division. And she has no issue getting in your face about it either. She doesn't care who she has to run over. There is no second place for her in any competition. And Crystal yeah, moving out of the way. Someone who's as stubborn as she is talented. It's not going to be an easy fight at all. She's being prepped for something. Face plant. She is adding insult to injury, and I love it. This is what you call Princess Peach going to the top. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good from the top? Ah, she misses the mark. Wow, oh, what a kick. And a kick to the back. Split legged leg drop. And shoulder and kick out at one. one. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Oh. Oh, and back of the elbow. She's enduring some damage. Off the rope. Oh man. Big clothesline by Princess Peach. Lights out. Cyclone kick. Oh, stop right to the belly. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Moving down the way. Big drop kick. We all know what she's looking to do next. Going down low, striking the front and back of the leg, and then a stop to the back. She's rising back now up. Now Crystal looking legs. for something here. Ooh. Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Oh my goodness. Good night. Trapped and nowhere to go. Except for maybe the emergency room or the locker room. This is going to be bad. 
And Princess Peach able to get out of that. Crystal to the top. Up high. Oh. And she doesn't connect. Fails to connect on the springboard. What a forearm. This match may be nearing its limit. Not what you want to see by any means. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. What a move. Princess Peach, no choice but to tap out. So Crystal Dallas is moving on to the semifinals. This was a truly spectacular win. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window. All right. Well, up next we have another Queen of the Ring tournament match. Princess Daisy takes on Haruki Mizuki. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from the Garden of Eden. Princess Daisy! Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. journey for this woman, but she knows a win tonight will take her even further. And with this 
match officially underway. We should see quite the fight from her in this one. Oh yeah. And Princess Peach not even she's not the type to give up not even letting some call it stubborn get it. Absolute resilience. Well, she's now definitely she not did. the type to give up easily, that's for sure. Yeah, but chopping at the bit is a superstar who's felt underrated and underappreciated as of late. And it's time for her to make everyone remember just how good she really is. Oh, man. Of the face. Snap mare take down. Oh, my. Hip attack. Make it twice. A third time. Can we see it? Oh, yeah. I like it. It's not even Saturday night. I'm sure you do. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Ooh, big strong kick. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Made her pay for her mistake. Snapmare take down. Oh my! And that gamble with the make it twice. hip a attack. Time. Can we see it? Oh yeah, I like it. It's not even Saturday night. I'm sure you do. Ooh, super kick, but... Ooh. Nice reversal. Princess Daisy to the top. Big Whoa, stomp. Look out. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Carefully applied, muscling up their opponent. Butterfly backbreaker. She thinks she has it. Kick out before the refs count. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. Blackjack! Face first. Woo, well measured. She's starting to look concerned. Impressive reversal there. Kick connect. Hooking it up. Rose plant. And for the pen. Support on this one. Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. Ooh, roll up. Shoulder down. And she kicks out right away. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. She got out of there. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Oh. Oh, man. Both feet crashing down. Big uh -oh, kick. Rapid. Uh oh. She anticipates. Face first. Uh, set down. It's locked in. The Koji clutch. Oh my goodness. This may be over quick. Can she hang? She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. Oh yeah. She is really getting fired up. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight, for goodness sake. Oh. Running knee lift. She's looking for the win. 
And for the pen. And the win. So in our finals, it will be Crystal Dallas versus Princess Here Daisy. She certainly earned it. The entire women's division was watching this one, and she is the one to watch, guys. All right, well, next up, we have our semifinals. Crystal Dallas versus Princess Daisy. Next stage, and it looks like this is going to head to blows. Well, right, right when Princess Daisy got backstage, oh, kick to the face. Brittany here to. Try to like take her down. Able to evade. Ooh, it's chucked that chair right at him. Just throwing steel chairs at her. She steers clear of that one. Right into the trash can. Oh man! Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Where's security hat? Firm control. Oh man! Ouch! Grabbing a hold of the arm. Oh! Hip drop. Counters. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Able to sidestep it. All right, Eric and Rana. Watch out. Dang, just throwing that at her. Bang, right over the left field bleachers. She saw it coming. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Wow, incredible hurricanrana.
Now Brittany grabbing the steel chair. Suplex. No! Kick to the spine. A running hurricane rata. Oh my gosh, what impact. Oh man. Clearly waiting for that. Ooh, great agility on display. Oh, tossing chairs like it's hardcore heaven. Carefully measured knee drop. Slowly getting up, but she won't. I, I don't She's think Princess win. Daisy is going to be able to oh, compete in the, the finals. Oh, the stunner! That was the best one I've ever seen. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Now that was athletic. This is going on for quite a while. Nobody's breaking this up. Well, Brittany got taken out, but I don't know if Daisy's going to be able to compete. Well, we'll see what happens in our semifinals next. Well, unfortunately, Daisy will not be able to compete due to the uh, constant constant weapons being thrown at her. And as we can see, Brittany taking Princess Daisy's place. I'm kind of wondering, did they do this on purpose, she just so they, to be atop this just so they knew they could get to the, like the finals? Well, we'll see who wins this match and faces Here Lightning the in the superstar. finals. And from Ohio, Girl Dynamite, Crystal Dynamite! We've heard a lot from this individual and how important loyalty is, but it's not always clear where their loyalties lie. Maybe they're loyal to themselves. Maybe it's to their mom. Maybe it's to your mom. What difference does it make? Well, maybe they're loyal to evil. Don't be such a child. A woman meant for the highlight reel. She plans on even more excitement tonight. Here's a superstar that is dead on proving why she's the best. Just WWE. rushing out each She's other. Quiet about her either. Calling out everyone and anyone in the locker room. That is the only way you can climb to the top. Sitting back just doesn't get you there. But she'll be challenged by a woman who's shown a high acumen in the ring. There's nothing you can throw at her that she hasn't already devised an answer for. 
Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Hoist it up. I'm wondering if Crystal Dallas might win because because of that backstage fight. I mean, Brittany did get hit by a few weapons and a few moves. Unbelievable athleticism. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. She's taking some big hits here. Great drop kick. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Draped over the top rope. Hooked from behind. Picked up and inverted crush. Oh! Arse forearm. Draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. She shoots up the top rope from the and, Oh, big dive on to Brittany. Talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Slice bread. Such a great example of confidence she's showing here. Measured knee drop. This is likely going to happen. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Mm, removing the turnbuckle. This, <laughs> this match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. This combo is out of this world, Cole. It's a lunar one. Oh, and for the pen. The cover. And the win. So it will be Crystal Dallas versus Lightning in the finals. Submission win is a huge boost of confidence. But next up, we will find out who will take on Ryu in the finals of the King of King of the Ring tournament. Will it be Triple H or will it be Jerry Lawler? King of Kings has arrived. A man at the top of this company, at the top of this industry. Heck, there is no mountain Triple H can't climb. One of the best to ever compete. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the authority from British Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the King Triple H. Nobody possesses a higher in-ring IQ than the Cerebral Assassin. Well, think about it. Every tactic, every trick, every technique you can think of, Triple H has mastered. Yeah, the game will stop at nothing. He'll use every tool at his disposal to win the matchup. That is why he has become maybe the greatest of all time. Triple H is a true force to be reckoned with inside the ring. His physicality might even be underrated at this point. 
And we all know about the mental edge held by the cerebral assassin. Well, in every way possible, Triple H is built to compete at the highest level. The greatest king in wrestling history. And his opponent from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. Ha, the man I beat at WrestleMania. <laughs> well, on a more positive note, uh, you got to respect the king. Still competing and calling matches in his 70s. Uh, Still that. losing. <laughs> Why don't you give it a shot, Saxton? Well, maybe I will one day. You only got about 10 years left. Can he formulate the perfect plan against the game? Seems getting behind Triple H. Edge over opponents of all different sizes. Oh no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. Triple H with the counter. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Carefully placed stop to the arm. well scouted. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Bang! Reversal! What a counter! What's coming next? Back suplex! Very nice. Lawler is all fired up. And Jerry Lawler, big clothesline, and big clothesline in the corner. Boom, right across the small of the back. The wind up, and the pitch. He's looking a little off balance. Lawler might have just made a big opportunity for himself. Oh, look at Strunt. Can he do it here? Just after two. Kick out on two. Barely, but it counts. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Overwhelming offense from the king. Triple H is lacking his trademark intensity. Ooh, headbutt from the rear. Smash, nothing fancy. Now well, that'll do some serious damage. Reversal from the game. Triple H able to take a stand there. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. The cross face chicken wing. And cross face and chicken wing and right Jerry Lawler getting out of that. Looking for a little bit of high from the top. 
Jerry Lawler in for the pen. And kick out that two. He's still got the goods, but he needs to not get too comfortable here. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. And Lawler's maintaining the advantage now. The game needs to pull a trick from his sleeve. Oh, counters right into the breadbasket. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Triple H hooks the arms. This is Vintage Hunter right here. In the pedigree. Triple H had this all sewn up. And Triple H in for the pen. That kick out at two. Some way escapes the feet. Still alive. And guys, Triple H is in a rare moment of confusion. The game thought he had enough to end this, but his instincts were wrong. Big spine buster. The game knew exactly how to play his opponent with that one. Triple H going for the pedigree again. By the game. Kick out at two. His opponent thought he had it in the back for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And you can see the gears in Triple H's head turning as he's racking his brain for a new scheme to get the win here. We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. Way his leg hit the apron. The king is going up top. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Face first. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Now oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. A bit of hot dogging from Triple H here. That's mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. And there's even more merciless offense from the game. Just another one of many well-calculated moves by the cerebral assassin in this match. Yes, press! Way to put this one away. Puts the leg off. Ooh, Jerry Lawler. Legs on the, the world did he kick rope. And Triple H able me? to get out of that. Words off that offense from Lawler. Great strength being shown here. And kick out that two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. And he goes into the ring. Big spine buster. Rings, here he goes. And for the pen. And the win. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. This loss is a major difference. So in our finals it will be Triple H versus Ryu. But tonight the King couldn't get the job done. That's gonna be quite a match. But anyway that is it for BCW. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you Friday for TNA.